And it was like, this is how you do it. And it was like, you work your ass off, you stay up late, you drink, you smoke cigarettes, you go to work hungover, and you do it again. And if you sprinkle some drugs in there, then that's okay, because we all do. And so for me as a young kid, I was like, great, all the things I like to do. I mean, I can remember where I switched from like having beers with my friends in Santa Cruz to like using alcohol to, as, to medicate. And it was, you know, um, the creme brulees that I was baking had gotten water in them and they were ruined and I was super stressed. And I went out to the bar and there was a bottle of raspberry flavored Stoli vodka. And so I poured myself a thing and chugged it and went, okay, took the edge off, right? went back in and went about the day. I can remember that was the start of like medicating with alcohol. Day off, we were having a new house, neighbors we hadn't really met and I started drinking while cooking dinner and, and you know, three bottles of red wine to myself, having a good time then more whatever and we had a it was our second baby was about a month or two old and and I ended up kind of like passing out on the couch in the middle of dinner and then I rolled off the couch and kind of like fell onto a, my kid and it was a real wake up call and uh, I asked my father to take me to a meeting when I when, when I was ready I was a bad example for a long time. I, I, you know, openly drank in front of my staff. I openly drank in front of my family, my kids. So I thought I, I was that. Why not just see what happens and get out there a little bit more? So I decided to be a good example. I remembered how scary it was when you walk into AA, and if there would have been something like Ben's friends, it, who knows? Maybe, maybe I would have gotten sober a year sooner, maybe two years sooner, because it's for people like us, it's for the restaurant business. And so if you walk into a place where people speak your lingo, they understand your stresses, the things that cause you to drink, which I call Ben's friends the gateway drug of sobriety. Uh, because what we, I mean, coming to a meeting once a week at Ben's friends is amazing. But you're gonna need more than that if you really wanna get sober. If I hadn't have made that decision almost six years ago now, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't be sitting in our newest restaurant, Canard, for sure. I just don't see how I would have kept going six more years. I, I don't know how I did it as long as I did. I'd probably be still cooking, but not, but for someone else, and probably not married anymore. Life doesn't get easier when you make that choice and change, but uh, life becomes more manageable. <laughs>